Hi everyone, Nicole Herrick here with you. Today I'm gonna to show you how to fix a very, very deep stuck jam in a brother sewing machine. Um, so this has been sitting for 12 months, not being used because I haven't had time and extra cash to take it to a repair shop. And I finally just decided I'm gonna take this baby apart and just see what's happening under here and see if uh, I can fix it. Um, so the needle is not moving up and down at all when I turn the wheel. Um, and it's not a case of just your standard uh, jamming where you just wiggle the wheel and then it eventually comes out and you just sort of gently pull the threads and it comes unstuck. It is not that case, I promise you. This is something very, very deep. And we're gonna open her up and take a look at what's wrong. So I have a five cent piece, uh, just something uh, coin thin enough to be able to get into these because it's obviously difficult to get a screwdriver in there. Use your muscles, ladies or gents. Okay, so now that we've got those two out, I can take this front piece off and I can slide this plastic piece towards me and that will come off. And we also then can pull out this as the next step. Um, I think to actually get this plate off, I'm just gonna undo the needle and drop it down. You can take the foot out and you can take this piece off. Now, <laughs> that's pretty disgusting. So the first thing we're gonna do is get rid of all of this lint and disgustingness. Um, hopefully that's the problem. Um, and then uh, we're gonna vacuum it out um, and use a brush at the same time. I've been told don't use an air can because that can force little particles down into places you don't want them. All right, let's vacuum this baby out. Look at that amount of lint. Gosh, even on the feed dogs, that's what came off the feed dogs and there's still more on there. Now, let's see if my, uh... oh, oh, we have turning. Okay, so it is turning, but it's still getting stuck on something. I think it is still some gunk down in here. So I'm gonna try and clean that out a bit more. Ooh, actually, can you see this uh, this ring of gunk in here? That is not meant to be there. Let's get that out while we're here. I'm gonna use my needle. So I can actually get a full revolution now. But still, when it gets to here, uh, so going this part going through here, um, that's just sticking a little bit. Um, 
so what I might do is just have a little look in here, um, see if there's some more stuff I can get out, um, and I might end up taking this piece off, but let's have a little play first. Oh yeah, big bit of fluff down in here that I missed. done a fair bit more but uh, right I'm gonna use an air can I'm sorry I know it might just put dust in places we really don't want it but I just need to it's only sticking a little bit like here um, so I just want to see if this final bit will dislodge any little bits that I just can't get to shake well smoother um, it is still rubbing a tiny bit but I mean maybe that does that anyway all right I'm gonna whack this thing back together and uh, let's see if my baby sews again before I do that though I'm going to give this a really thorough clean out oh, it's pretty grimy in there um, and just make sure that you do not um, rip this fairy piece off that bit is uh, not lint and it's meant to be there I'm also going to clean all my other pieces, just give them a little wipe over. Okay, so that is how you want your bobbin case to sit in. So making sure that that um, felt pad is just in front of the feed dogs here. And that should move freely like this. For this piece, making sure that you put this underneath. Okay, grabbing the plastic piece. Okay, so we want to get it to about here and then click forward into position. And there we go. Okay, people, cross your fingers. <laughs> Please work. zigzag stitch just to make sure <laughs> I can't believe it I've been without my beautiful baby for over a year and just because I couldn't, didn't think I could take it apart. <laughs> You're fixed now, baby. It's okay. Let's do some sewing. 